Hello and welcome to your next tutorial. Hold on. Okay, welcome to your next tutorial. This tutorial will be learning about how to split functions among different files. So um, right now we're going to go to new file, file. Right now we're going to do a C++ source. We'll get into headers in this tutorial. Just do C++. File name with full path. You want to click on that three. Um, if you're using code blocks, you want to click on that three thing. You want to click all first. Click on that. Let's name it math. And be sure you don't capitalize math because there actually is a real f file called math, and you don't want to get confused with that. So we have math, right? And let's remember to include IO stream. And again, we're using name space std. Okay, and we'll have a function named add. Okay, whatever. And we'll have another function called subtract. Okay, and then pretty simple stuff. If this is not simple stuff, you should not be here right now. And then we'll just return added. And then added, no, hold on. Int added will equal num1 plus num2 and then also here we'll do rent subbed or whatever and then subtract or subbed equals num1 minus num2 and remember we have to have our parameters there like that right you build and run and it'll um let, let's get rid of this okay you run it and here's a f actually let, let me show you something real fast I guess I forgot to get rid of that if you were to run it again it says blah what the hell is a blah or what the hell is an ad what the hell is an ad I've never seen ad before I don't want to it's in this other file but how do we tell this main function is another file there's two ways. There's the messy way and there's a the fun header way. We'll show you the messy way at first. The fun uh, messy way, and this is kind of easier, but it makes your code much messier if you have a lot of functions. And add num1 and num2. You just have you just declare this again, and then run it, and then okay, 97 whatever. That's the same thing. It remembers add even though it's another file there's that way and then you can do the same thing with subtract but the other way is you could do something called a header file so if you go to new file and if you go to header and you click go and you click this three thing again and if you type in math and it's fine if it's the same as this one this one right here just that's probably a good thing that way you know what to include so finish you made a header file now you're thinking wait there's two different types of files there's a cpp file and there's the header file what's the difference um, cpp files are where your code goes header files all you do is you basically have your declarations in here so if you were to have add int num1 int num2 right and then if you also have the sub method or subtract so let's do that real fast subtract I have no idea what subtract rect is but okay so then you have that if you were to run it you still got the error this right here is a header file this right here is also a header file these are two different header files so if you want to use a method that's declared in a header file well all you have to do is include the header file so let's do math.h and if you were to run it boom done 97 notice as I didn't include the header file in here we're not actually using the methods in here we are um, we're actually writing out what the methods are this is declaring the methods ahead of time and this is okay right here okay let's look for let's do look through math head and what the compiler will do is it won't actually compile these it'll say okay math h what will we do 
let's just take these methods and let's just put them in here and then it will keep going through as it compiles that is basically what your compiler does storing your methods in header files though allows it to be mu you know, yeah you only have to declare these once and you can use these methods in every other file so long as you include math.h that is a very important topic to know especially if you want to get into more advanced C++ like OpenGL and my other tutorials you have to know how to use header files because that is the normal you would almost never see someone declare the method in the front unless that method is to that CPP file exclusively okay um, now that we learned about splitting up files um, I don't know what our next tutorial will be but I'm sure it will probably be something really fun until then, see you later.